So the last thing I want to look at is something that, um, as of taping this interview, I cannot talk about to anybody, even my mother. <laughs> um, <laughs> but, uh, you know, the, the, the much leaked Windows Phone 7 coming really soon. You guys have uh, two phones on display here, and actually one that I've not seen before on the millions of pictures that have <laughs> somehow found their way online. Yes. Um, <laughs> so, I want to talk about the two models you guys have. Um, sure. This is obviously a Halo device, you know, the, as you can see, I mean, I was just uh, very impressed by the sort of brushed aluminum black finish, very, very sleek looking device. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, both LG and, and Microsoft have worked to, to, to bring together a premium product. So not only just in terms of the quality of the hardware itself, but the design and the finish and the screen quality and all that. So yes, it is definitely a premium product. Um, I think there's going to be a very smart strategic move when it comes to how they're going to price it, but I have to leave that to Microsoft to share. Now, uh, talking about something a little bit maybe slightly controversial, there was some news recently that uh, um, somebody in LG's head office um, left the company because there was a, maybe a, a concern of uh, mobile bef uh, division's performance. Um, does LG see Windows Phone 7 as really the platform that might accelerate you guys into a more of a leadership position? Well, um, really for us right now is we've, we're supporting uh, you know, both platforms when it comes to Android as well as Windows. And for us right now, it's, this is, there's no change in terms of our strategy uh, in terms of launching these products. Uh, for us, uh, the Windows 7 has always been part of our overall global strategy and we're very excited that it's, the release is upon us now. And it's a very important platform because we still see that both the, the Google and the Microsoft environments are relevant and have its own dedicated consumer base of interest. Now it's a tough market, the phone market, and I think, you know, from what I'm seeing here, you know, being, bringing out products that really scream like high quality, it's very, very important to capture people's attention because I'm, if I'm looking for my next phone, you know, not only do I want my phone, you know, to function well and have good internals, I want it to look nice. And that's an interesting side note, you know, Samsung just brought out the Galaxy range of phones, sure. which spec-wise are really nice phones, but a lot of plastic. And I was like, if this is my, you know, phone for the next three years, or right. for me, actually, the next year, because I go through phones like, you know, <laughs> you know, I want my phone to look like it costs a lot, not mm -hmm. just, you know, have a high, fast processor. And I definitely think, yeah, this is a, this is a really nice phone. Yeah. Well, you know, for us, uh, design and technology go hand in hand. We're always looking for that perfect balance, that marriage of innovation from technology, but also from aesthetic design. And we don't want one to compromise the other, and it really has to be a harmony between both. Um, it is a premium product. You're right, the specs are there, the performance is there, but making sure that we have the right materials, it speaks well, right? Because the phone has become sort of a, a, a badge of status. It's, it's beyond just a communication device. It is in some ways for some people, it's jewelry, some people it's an extension of identity. It does say something about who they are. And, and we get really uh, uh, attached to the phone because it's so integrated into our lifestyle. And, and truly, Microsoft has picked up on that with the way they're using the, the phone hub in their, in their phones right now. But when you actually uh, set this up for the first time, it's going to ask you if you have different various accounts. So you sign into your Windows Live, your uh, Messenger, your Outlook, uh, your, your Gmail, and also Facebook and Twitter. And it will begin to pull information from all those um, sites or, or services and aggregate them. Uh, for the most part, it is an intelligence built in so that if it's finding duplications of people, uh, it'll, it'll check the email, the, the names, obviously, and then be able to cross check. Oh, these are the same people, so it's going to merge them into one account, one profile. But here's an example where I have a friend, and it wasn't sure. There wasn't enough data to be sure if this is the same individual. But as you can see, you know, there's uh, I go into the link option, and it's proposing, hey, are these the same people? I simply have to say yes, and now it'll be merged into one single profile. So it's a really easy way to integrate and manage your contacts in one single place. Of course, what's great about the People Hub is beyond just a simple uh, address book. It is giving me updates from the various social media sites out there. So, but also there's a there is a. Uh, uh, a message about being sustainable, right? So we're using desirable materials so at the end of life, 
of these products. Recyclers or that entire industry is, is drawn to take the effort to take these apart and get at not just the precious metals, but the other like stainless steel, magnesium, and, and the coal tan that's in them. So this is another full circle 360 approach that we're having. Make beautiful products, make innovative products, but at the same time make sure that at the end of life you can take them and that there's, there's a life after their the primary use. Now, just uh, before we, you know, we'll zoom in on these phones maybe in um, more detail ourselves, you mentioned there was two sort of LG exclusive technologies in your Windows uh, Phone 7s. Yeah. Just want to mention what those are? Yeah, one is a, a software, that, an app that comes built in. It's called Scan Search, and it's a partnership between Microsoft, Google, and LG. And basically, it's a form of augmented reality. So you'll be able to, whether it's restaurants, or coffee shops, any form of services or businesses you're looking for, uh, tourist sites, you can uh, select those as a filter, and then looking through the camera, be able to see that overlaid uh, over the reality of the physical world. So again, a real quick way to get a sense of what's available in the local area. The other thing that's really there is uh, noticing how much people have turned to the cell phone as a primary way to capture moments on the camera or, or video. But from a camera standpoint, we know that people are looking for quality, so we've introduced the 5 megapixel, of course, but as well a feature called panoramic shot. So it allows you in an intelligent, easy way to take as much as five different shots, uh, it, it gives you a guided visual aid and does it automatically and stitches them seamlessly. So again, another neat integration. And a third thing actually that LG is doing un that's not being done by others when they were launching the phone, LG will be the only one that actually offers uh, Windows Mobile Phone that comes also with a full QWERTY keyboard. Which is a uh, very, very... I didn't even know it was a quality phone when I first looked at it. It's, the fit and finish of, of, the, of the slide out is really, really nice. So just to wrap up the phone part, um, there's no official date date, but it is November is the it time is, frame. Yes, we're looking at the early part of November and uh, uh, with two carriers, so we're very excited and looking forward to that time. Well, thanks for talking to us about the uh, Windows Phone 7. It was great to have these conversations with you. I'm looking forward to everything you have on display here. And thank you for talking to us. Thank you. My pleasure.